How many receptacle outlets on the countertops or work surfaces are required on the 20 amp small appliance branch circuits in a kitchen? And the correct answer is as many as required by the layout. The NEC mandates that there must be a sufficient number of receptacles to serve the countertop, but it doesn't give a specific number, like an exact number, but it instead gives us a prescription for how to achieve the proper amount. And that number depends on the layout of the kitchen. If you answered two today, today's question, you're likely referring to 210.11c1. Let's take a look at the paraphrase code language. In addition to the branch circuits required by other parts of this section, at least two 20 amp small appliance branch circuits must be provided for all the receptacle outlets that are specified in 210.52b. So here in this section, it requires there be two circuits, but that's not how many outlets there are. Remember, an outlet is the utilization point at where it comes out. And the moment we put a receptacle on it, it all of a sudden then becomes a receptacle outlet where the power comes out at. Now let's take a look at the requirements for the countertops. This is the paraphrase code language. In kitchens, dining rooms, breakfast rooms, pantries, and similar areas of dwelling units, receptacle outlets for countertops and work surfaces that are 12 inches or wire wider must be installed according to 210.51 C1 through C3. These outlets are not to be counted as the receptacles that are required in 210.52A, which are our general receptacles. What this is stating is that every countertop that is 12 inches or wider is going to have at least one receptacle outlet. And then it goes on down through the code to give you the prescription, which we call the two, four foot, the two foot, four foot rule. And I have videos explaining that. If you'll head over to electricalcodecoach.com, you can check out our free version of our exam prep. And remember, if you need anything from me, you can just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.